Microsoft Dynamics 365 is the central. Today we are going to learn about sales and receivable setup. So basically what is sales and receivable setup? So the sales and receivable setup uh, involves configuring various settings related to sales, processing, invoicing and managing receivables from customers. So the key component of setting up sales and receivable is um, you can set up customer and contact setup item setup it involves in that pricing and discount setup sales order setup invoicing setup payment setup sales tax setup or receivable setup credit management setup and reporting and analysis setup so let's start this uh, one by one uh, we're going through the all the fields to just basic information what they are for so first one in general tab is uh, discount posting if you see you got four options no discount invoice discount line discount or all discounts so you specify the type of sales discount to post separately i mean no discount if you say no discount discounts are not posted separately but instead will subtract the discount before posting uh, invoice discount is the next one um, the invoice discount um, the, the invoice discount and invoice amount are posted simultaneously based on the sale invoice discount account field in, in general posting setup windows and then the next one is um, the line discount and the, the in, invoice amount will be posted simultaneously based on the sales discount field in general post setup and then you've got all discounts the invoice and line discount um, all discount it shows this one the, the invoice and line discounts and invoice amount will be posted simultaneously based on the sales invoice discount field and sales line and a discount account field in general post setup windows so this is all about the discounting uh, discount posting so you got different options so you can select according to your needs second one is credit warnings so we've got both warnings credit warnings overdue balances no warning so what is that for it specifies whether to warn about the customer status when you create a sale order or invoice so you can turn the warnings on or off and then obviously according to that you can work about that so basically the credit warning um, these warnings are essential for businesses uh, to proactively monitor and manage their customers credit risk uh, they help prevent potential issues such as late payment, non-payment, or default um, default on invoices. I mean, by receiving timely alerts about customer nearly their credit limit, business can take uh, appropriate actions such as contacting the customer to discuss the payment terms, or negotiating a payment plan, or suspending further credit until the outstanding balance is settled. Next one is the stock warning. Uh, you can turn it on and off. Stock warning specifies if a warning is displayed when you enter a quantity on a sales document that brings the item inventory level below zero. So normally you see if you put some quantity through some journals, um, uh, uh, journals or um, journal ledgers, sometimes you, uh, the system gives you an error and says we see the, the quantities over the amount what we got. So it covers the stock side as well. Uh, the next one says invoice rounding um, that specified if the amounts are rounded for sale invoices rounding is applied as specified in inventory rounding precision lcy field in the general ledger setup windows uh, default item quantity um, that specifies that the quantity field is set to one when you fill in the item number details um, you can turn it on and off create item from item number um, that specifies if the system will suggest to create a new item when no item matches the number that you enter in the, in the number field on the sales, uh, sales line. Uh, create item from description. That will specify if the system will suggest to create a new item when no item matches the description that you enter in the description field on sales line. So these two, basically, these are, uh, you can say, kind of suggestions through the system. If you're putting the num number or description, if it's not there, um, let's say you've got two tables, A, B, C, and X, Y, Z, and they're matching with each other. If A, B, C is not available, then the system will suggest through number or description that X, Y, Z is available. You want that or not. So the next option we got here is copy customer name to entries. That will specify if you want the name on customer cards to be copied to customer ledger entries during posting. 
Um, the next option says AP, uh, AP VLAN between currencies specifies whether it is allowed to apply customer payments in different currencies. None means uh, we've got different options, so none, EMU, and all. So the none means all entries involved in one application must be in the same currency. EMU, you can apply entries in euro and one of the old national currency for EMU currency regions to one another. All means you can apply entries in different currencies to one another. The entries can be in any currency. And the next option we've got is default posting date. So you've got work date and no date. So that will specify um, which date must be used as the default posting date on sales documents. If you select work date, the posting date field will be populated with the work date at the time of creating a new sales document. If you select no date, the posting date field will be empty by default and you must manually enter posting date before posting. So we've got two options there. And then auto posting non inventory via WHAC. That means specifies if non inventory item lines in a sales document will be posted automatically when the document is posted via warehouse. So you get two options, uh, uh, three options, sorry, non attached, signed, and all. So the non means. Um, So the non means um, do not automatically post a non inventory items lines. The uh, second one is a tight assign post item charges and other non inventory item lines signed or attached to regular items. And all you can post all non inventory item lines uh, as well. The next option it's uh, allow VAT difference uh, specifies whether to allow the manual adjustment of VAT amounts in sales document and calculations of inventory desk a discount that will specify if the invoice discount amount is automatically calculated with sales documents if this checkbox is selected then the invoice discount amount is calculated automatically based on um, sales lines where they allow invoice discount field is selected next option we've got is bad business posting uh, prices so you've got different posting uh, groups mentions there so domestic EU or export. So that will specify um, a wet business posting group for customers uh, for whom you want the item price, including wet to apply. And uh, next one is uh, the uh, PRPMT auto update frequency, uh, which shows never daily and weekly. Um, that will specifies or shows how often the job must return, uh, sorry, just job must run that, that automatically updates, that um, automatically updates the status of order that are pending uh, prepayment. And we got posting date check on posting. Um, that will specify you if you want the program to warn you when you post a sales document with a posting date that is different from the work date. You can also ignore update addresses and uh, that means if changes to addresses made on sales documents are copied to the custom card by default changes are copied to the custom card skip manual res reservations uh, specifies that the res reservation confirmation messages message is not shown on the sales line this is useful to avoid noise when you are processing many lines um, next one is document default line type so you got a few options there, GL account, item, resource, fixed asset, charge, um, allocation account. So that will uh, specify the default value for the type field on the first line in the new sales documents. If needed, you can change the value on the lines. Okay, and we got next section shows dimensions. Um, so you are customer group dimension code and you are salesperson code. So the, this one, obviously, it's you can select it from the different uh, the, from the whole list which you have set up before the dimensions. So that will give you by the dimension de dimension details which you set up, and you can select customer group dimensions. So, so you can uh, select the, the group which uh, dimension to apply for this customer. Uh, sorry, the, the for the customer uh, for this setup. 
sales person dimension code is the similar you can uh, pick up the sales person dimensions that will specify the dimension code for customer group in your analysis reports uh, reports or reporting the next option we got um, bank deposit obviously you can put the details through bank deposit uh, bank deposit numbers and obviously uh, post bank deposit as a lump sum if you want to do the lump sum then you can activate that number series is very important in Microsoft Dynamics 365 is a central number series is the contacts of sales and receivables in, in sales and receivables setup refer to automatic number sequences uh, assigned to sales documents such as sales order invoices credit memos and other related documents these numbers uh, obviously um, number series ensures that each sales document in uniquely identified and sequentially numbered and providing an organized and systematic approach to document management obviously so you can see um, systematic and obviously um, sequential and uniquely uh, numbers in your uh, reports when you're reporting so basically this whole side uh, area of um, sales or receivable setup is about number series you've got different number series to allocate to different options and however um, the number series are typically set up and managed in sales server setup because they, you need number series configuration automatic numbering or customizing customization options or multiple number series or monitoring and maintain, maintenance so all for that you you set up all of these and then um, that would set up number series for you so this always is a background posting so this section is for background posting uh, post with job queues that will specify if you use job queues to post sales documents in the background uh, post and print uh, with job queues uh, that will specify you uh, if you use job queues to post and print sales documents in the background um, job queue category code so you can select the code from here as well you got different codes which you set up obviously at the start when you when you set up all th the whole company uh, that was supposed to specify the code for the category of the job queue that you want to associate with uh, background posting uh, notify on success that means specify if the notification is sent when posting and printing is successfully completed uh, report output type so you can get different type of reports outputs PDF you can get a PDF or you get a printout um, obviously that uh, the output of the report that will schedule that will be scheduled with the job queue entry uh, when the post and print with job queue checkbox is selected obviously for whichever you selected from there and then we got reverse charge a reverse charge web posting um, uh, group so specifies the wet business posting group code for the reverse charge wet uh, next one is domestic customer um, that will specify the wet business posting group code for the domestic uh, customers obviously whichever customers you've got domestic or EU export invoice wording uh, specifies the text that is printed on the invoice indicating that the invoice is reverse charge transaction so this is all about reverse charge next is archiving so in archiving you got a few options archiving codes achieve uh, sorry archive uh, blanket orders archive orders archive return orders so that will specify if uh, um, you want to archive sales codes when they are um, deleted uh, you can never question or always uh, blanket side will cover if you want to archive sales blanket orders when they are deleted and this side archive order archive order specify if you want to archive sales order when they are deleted and obviously the last one shows specify if you want to archive sales return um, order uh, when they are deleted and lastly why we set up um, sales and receivable setup in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central um, uh, or any other ERP system so basically there are a few things we need to know that obviously it's for efficient sales process and you can use accurate invoicing and you can use effective receivable management or so compliance purposes you can use it or insightful reporting and analysis obviously it's all goes to the reports as well and you can use it for customer relationship management as well and you can you do for risk management so hope you understand the basics of sales and receivable setups and thanks for watching